This is the Minnesota Power Scanlon Dam Gate Replacement Project located in the east channel of the Scanlon Dam. We are in Scanlon, Minnesota, just outside of Duluth, Minnesota. The objective of this project is to replace seven of the tanner gates in the east channel here. Uh, that's inclusive of concrete repairs and the hoist equipment. Minnesota Power has more than 220 spill gates in our entire system. These being 100 years old and they were showing signs of needing replacement, they made the cut to be replaced this year. Gates themselves are being provided by North Shore Steel out of Two Harbors, Minnesota. We're involved with everything from getting the gates right into the locations as well as the bulkhead system and then removing the existing pieces so that they can all fit in place. Brennan was pulled into this project very early on to work closely with uh, Minnesota Power. We were working through initial planning and concept, ultimately looking at different design options and solving access problem issues. Uh, in a very tight space. One of our largest challenges, getting equipment, personnel, materials to work locations, and that's where Brennan often brings a lot of value and innovation. The toughest thing is getting over here with a large crane and a marine plant. So as we were loading the barge and the equipment on the West Channel, we still had some high flows, so we had to coordinate with MP Hydro Maintenance and Operations to close gates so we could load the barge. As we close gates over there, we open gates here, um, then we could push across and push flow back the other side. Due to the access to the site being very limited, we've opted to use PAC as our main means of concrete repairs here. That involves pre-paced aggregate concrete. It's where we're basically doing our normal concrete demolition, rebar installation, and the normal form installation, but what we do different here is we'll sluice in rock into our formwork, make sure it's clean rock, and then once all the rock's in place, we'll inject grout into our formwork. It's all expansive material, so all your voids are getting filled and you don't have any shrinkage in your repair areas. We've consulted with Brennan multiple times over the years on constructability issues, ways to be more economical in our installation. We also have brought Brennan in during the design phase, and our engineer of record in this case is Bar Engineering, and the three of us work together during design to create those efficiencies and give Minnesota Power the most economical install we could. We replaced seven gates. Once the gates are out, Craig and Machine out of Superior came in here and milled down all the pins to hold the arms on the gates, put stainless sleeves on them, install the gates, winches, cables and bridles for lifting and lowering the gates. There's deck modifications to help support the new gates and all the concrete repairs. For replacing these gates, they're 100 years old, so we're ex extending the life for the next 50, 100 years. Hydro is the original sustainable energy, and Minnesota Power continues to try to support that as we transition our energy landscape with the rest of the country and in our local region here. So this project will provide clean, renewable power to the local communities. All the power that's produced here goes out on the grid, and so it's nice to know that you're part of the local energy solution, creating clean power. Minnesota Power is an awesome client. They do a great job of partnering with us, and when we have issues, they get deeply involved to make sure we're all working together to come towards a solution that works best for everybody. Working with Brennan's been great. The crew that we have here, they're efficient, they're knowledgeable. Minnesota Power and Brennan have partnered for, I think we're over 40 years now. With great collaboration and teamwork as a group, really, what's the best value for Minnesota Power? What's the safest way we can complete the work and most economical? The collaborative nature that existed between the engineering firm and the construction firm on this project, ultimately led by the owner, and I think it resulted in a lot of benefits in terms of safety and reliability of how the project got accomplished, uh, but also overall project budget. I believe it ended up reducing the overall project budget by having the right people involved at the right stages of the job to make the right decisions to get, to get it done and get it done in a, in a way that everybody can be proud of.